The last two years of severe weather, it's been the Environment Agency's job to try to hold back the floodwaters. Well, now it's opened a new testing laboratory. It's a water tank in Oxfordshire, half the size of a football pitch, which contains a replica home. Our environment correspondent, Jeremy Cook, reports. An increasingly common sight, a potentially devastating experience. It's now reckoned that one in six homes in England and Wales is at risk of flooding, and climate change is predicted to make things even worse. And so there's this. It looks like a Hollywood special effects set, but this giant indoor tank is a state-of-the-art facility where new flood protection barriers are put to the test. These removable plastic covers clip over windows and doors. Are they the 21st century sandbag? Ultimately, this is all about helping people to protect their own homes. And it's clear from looking at this that there are things that you can do. There's about a metre or so of water out there, but inside, everything is relatively dry. Now, these devices, of course, cost money, but nothing like the thousands and thousands of pounds it costs any householder if the waters come through for such catastrophic effect. The centre here in Oxfordshire is designed to make testing affordable for inventors and companies to encourage innovation, a new generation of flood defence. So we're reproducing conditions that would occur during a flood out in the real world. So we're testing for still water and in this particular tank we're testing for currents and waves. And then that proves that the barriers can withstand and keep the water out of a house under a range of different conditions. The Environment Agency, which is funding this project, says flood barriers which pass the test here can be used with confidence. There's growing evidence that simple measures like these can save thousands of pounds and plenty of heartache. Jeremy Cook, BBC News, Oxfordshire. And uh, time to catch up on all.